In part 3, I've touched on Super Dragon Ball Z and talked about a few modern DBZ games. For last, let's take a look at the Dragon Ball games for the Nintendo 3DS. The ones I'm going to review are Dragon Ball Heroes Ultimate Mission and Extreme Batoden. First, we'll begin with the Hero series that was ported from the arcade in 2010. A few years later, it was ported on the 3DS, which I own both sequels and the Japanese 3DS that I got for Christmas back in 2014. But without any further, let us begin. You go through the Sand Saga, the movies, all the way to GT. Simple as that. Gameplay? Well, it's kind of like, what the hell am I supposed to do type. So what do you do? Well, it's a card-based game. You get to choose your cards, you move them using your pen or your fingers, however you want to move them. Depending how much numbers you have, either the enemy attacks you or you attack the enemy first. Then you have two Dragon Meters. Make sure you time it right, whether you defend the enemy's attack or attacking your enemy. Once you defeat them, you get Zenny. Well, duh! Not to mention you get new character cards, Dragon Balls, and upgrade Giru. Also, you can choose a different race of hero. My favorite is the Frieza race. Of course, Dragon Ball Heroes is Japan exclusive, meaning it never had an American release. That's bullshit. But I will say it does have canon and non-canon characters to play as. That's pretty cool. Oh, and your character can perform a spirit bomb, though it's a level up ability, I think. Looking at the graphics may remind you of... I don't have any issues with the sound, especially the voice cast. One of the heroes is voiced by Yamaguchi Kape, known for Jin from Yu Yu Hakusho, Ranma from Ranma Half, Usopp from One Piece, and Phaeton from the 2011 Hunter x Hunter anime. Dragon Ball Heroes does include What If Transformations, What If Fusions, and What If Absorptions. Again, that's pretty cool. One thing I don't get is that people hate this game. Well, you know what? I don't care. Heroes is a very fun game, and I enjoyed it. I have played Ultimate Mission 2. That one was really fun. When I first got the game, it came with five cards. Problem is, the arcade is released only in Japan. Bummer. Now take a look at this. Where have I seen that before? Well, thanks to Dimps who are behind this. There's another sequel called Ultimate Mission X for, again, the 3DS. To quote James Rolfe, if I don't have the game, I can't review it. There's an upgraded version of Dragon Ball Heroes called Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Next, Dragon Ball Z Extreme Batoden. It is the continuation of the Batoden series. You have six modes, 100 characters, except only 25 are playable, while many will assist you during your fight. Too bad Garlic Jr. and Lord Slug weren't in this game as the assist characters. I have heard that the Dragon Ball Super characters are included, only in the Japanese version if I'm correct or not. This game may remind me of Hyper Dragon Ball Z. Despite its flaws, it's a really fun fighting game. Before I end this, I did play the Xenoverse series, which is a fighting and RPG. You can create your own characters, buy stuff, fight online, talk to people, go on parallel quests, that kind of stuff. Though the character transformations aren't grouped with the base form character, which I do have a problem with. I guess they're using elements from Battle of Z. The game features new characters like the Supreme Kai of Time, Toa, Mira, and Demigra. Xenoverse 2 is one of my most favorites, where each race can now transform, fly around in the city, train by all mentors instead of one, has new features, movie characters, you freaking name it. Yet people call it Xenoverse 1.5, but who freaking cares? I absolutely had a blast with Xenoverse 2. However, I do have to complain about the roster. I mean, why put the villainous characters in the character slot? That's such a waste. They should be in the variation slots like they're supposed to. Overall, it is definitely a large improvement over the original Xenoverse. So with that, Dragon Ball fans, this concludes my four-part review on the modern Dragon Ball video games. Until then, in the words of Forneverworld, I am Lord Biako. And as always, people, have an awesome day.